everyone and welcome to Glitzy Stitches Home by Shawnee Lee. I'm Shawnee Lee. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Today we're going to be participating in the 12 Days of Christmas collaboration. Today is day six. The subject is snowmen. It's hosted by Krista of Krista's Crafty Life. This is also hosted by Brenda of Rustic and Lace. I'll have each of their channel links in the description box below as well as a link to the playlist. Without further ado, let's get started. <music> first part of our snowman what i want to do is i have this three inch round and i want to weight it down i just have some hot glue here i'm gonna go ahead put a little bit of hot glue on a little bit different than we do the gnomes Just like that. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to use the entire sock because we can always cut off the excess. Go ahead. All right. Now, I have this stuffing. It's from a pillow from Walmart. I believe I paid $3.38 or something. They've changed the prices. They just make the best stuffing. We're going to go ahead and we're going to stuff this full. I've been wanting to make a snowman for quite some time. And when I seen Krista was hosting this, I was like, oh, here we go. Check out the playlist. I'll have the link to that in my description box below as well. These playlists have been awesome. I've been following them. Really, really nice. Lots of creative ideas. Okay. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to take some juice. I always use way too much jute. That's okay. I'm going to tie this. Hopefully this will work, guys. I am winging this. There we go. It is going to work. It's going to work perfect, actually. Make the indent to represent the snowballs. I used to love to make snowmen. Nice big snowballs and... Some of them got way too heavy to put a second layer or a third layer. Okay, we're going to go ahead and you just snip this. Go. Okay, see? Makes a perfect little layer down there. Now we're going to go ahead and do the second one. Just like so. <clears throat> All right, about right there. It's perfect. Okay. Untie it. All right. One more. I tie them super tight, too. Super tight. There we go. Just clip that off. This scarf will be covering the second one, so if you don't get it all the way in there, it's okay. Okay, now we're absolutely going to cut this off, but first I want to take our base. Our base. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're going to take our jute. Looks like he's got a ponytail. We're going to tie our jute. 
two nice tight knots like so. Cut the excess. Cut this down as far as possible. There we go. All right, and there's our snowman body. I think this looks absolutely great. Just like that. This is about, goodness guys, this is pretty tall. He is eight and a half inches tall. Almost nine, I'd say eight and three quarters actually. So he's not small. All right. Now, let's set him aside and we're gonna make his top hat the lid and I just traced around it so we have our circle this is going to be for our top hat I've taken my awl and just punched a hole in the center now I'm going to grab my exacto knife or my finger blade and I'm going to slit just about four slits right from the center hole that we punched just like that doesn't have to be perfect what this is going to do is this is going to allow our little piece here that we have from the top of our snowman to go through like so we'll glue it down permanently in a little bit now we want to take I'm going to be using my Fisker's blade. I want to take at least a two inch piece of my black cardstock. Let me see here. Let me see if that's going to be enough. I think I might go to maybe three inches. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to go three inches on this. Like so. You guys probably know where I'm going with this. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make the top of our hat just like that. That's perfect. I'm going to mark this. Yeah, that's perfect right there. I'm going to go ahead and mark it. I'm going to cut that piece off, just like so. First of all, getting a little bit ahead of myself, we have to make the disc for the top of our hat. Done for the top of our top hat is I've taken a regular square, I've hot glued it onto the top of the hat, and I'm literally just going to cut around this, just like so. Right up against the edge. Just like this. Nice and flush. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now we're going to take the bottom of our hat. Make sure that your little triangles we made from the slits are on the top. And we're going to glue this straight to the head, but first we're going to put it on our snowman head, just like that. Okay, we're going to glue that nice and tight. Around, just around, as close as you can get to the opening. Put it some around here. 
And you can also, if you'd like for extra security, use a fabric tack glue or something on this as well. And guys, if you want to paint this to where it's all black, I would suggest you do that first. I just didn't do it for time purposes today. I can always go back and do it carefully because I have it on my snowman now. Right. It's going to be perfect. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to take our hot glue. Now, you do not have to worry if this drips a little bit because that's all going to be covered up. I'm going to even try to cover up the circle so you wouldn't have to paint it. Okay, let's see. Right here. Let's go around. And there we go. Oh my goodness. He's coming right together. Can you guys, let me see, I'm gonna move my camera up, move up. Oh, that's so cute. So, so cute. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and let's decorate his hat. Of these that I purchased at Hobby Lobby, these spruce sprigs. I'm just going to take one and we're going to go ahead and we're going to run this around the brim of his hat like so. Going to make him nice and sturdy. If you want to glue this, you can. If you don't want to glue this, you do not have to. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this along right here. Twist these together like so, and we're going to put this at the top where we twisted it together, where we brought them together. We're going to put it at the top of his hat, right in the front, right like that, okay? See how that covers all of that up? It looks fantastic. And it covers all of that white line from our circle up. Now we're going to take another piece for your thumbs here. Off. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue. You can use an E6000 as well. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use my hot glue. I'm going to glue this on the bottom just like so, a little bit up the stem, not too much. And just put it right where you brought those together, just like that right against his little hat. Okay, just like so. And again, on the opposite side. Just like this. This is a classic sock snowman. You can do this with the kids, with your family. This would be great to do like on Thanksgiving. Watch football and make snowmen. Just like that. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the glue on. Mm, you know what? Let's make this a little bit smaller. I'm not, I want this, those little uh, spruce to show. So we're going to just like that. There we go. Um, I have these little wooden snowflakes that I purchased from Timu, and we're going to go ahead. These are so cute. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to place them right here. 
right over the white part of the berry. I want to thank Krista for hosting this collaboration today. It's been an absolute blast. Isn't that just cute, you guys? And so classic. I think it is so cute. Now, let's put the face on the snowman. What we're going to do is I'm going to take some of my black chalkboard paint from the Dollar Tree. This is my absolute favorite. I have tried the one from Dollar General, and I do not care for it at all. This is my favorite by far. Okay, so I'm going to take a little piece of paper. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to dot a little bit of the paint right here. Okay. Now, I have this little brush. Now, I purchased these on Amazon. They come, I believe, five in a package. We're going to go ahead. No, anytime I'm going to do something permanent like this, I'm going to tap this over here. Okay, just like that. All right, here we go. Boom. And lift right up. Lift right up. Don't, like, rub around or anything. Just lift right up. So we're going to go boom and hopefully boom. Just like that. Okay, that's really, really good. Now, do you guys see what happened here? Look at the natural light in that eye. I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead. Now, I'm going to set this aside. So, we're probably going to use this for the mouth, but I'm going to use a littler tip. A littler. <laughs> I'm going to use a littler. We're going to use a smaller tip for that. Now, for the nose, of course, we want it to look like a carrot. So we want it large. That's pretty large. That's pretty good, isn't it? This is from the Dollar Tree. This is an earplug. So what I'm going to do with this one, we're going to do this a wee bit different. I am going to add some E6000. You could also use a Fabri-Tac with this. That would work fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? Isn't he adorable? I just think he is so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, now let's make his mouth. Now, this is just, we don't want it the same size as his eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my little, hmm, let me see. I'm going to take my dot. Yeah, let's see what the dot works. If it's too small, we can always come back. Okay. Going to be fine. Lightly. You want to do this lightly. I'm going to go just like this. I'm going to make my points. Three points I'm going to make. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to go in between and dot. Like this. Here we go. Just like that. Look at that. I think this is so, so cute. Okay, let's go ahead and get his arms. Now, for his arms, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to E6000 these as well as hot glue. We'll go ahead and we'll get his other arm on the other side, and we'll be right back. Check it out, guys. How cute is he? I think he is just turning out absolutely adorable. Okay, now we have the issue of covering up this logo on the back. Now, what we're going to do is I have the stuffing we used for his initial body, right? I've been thinking about this and I'm thinking, man, what am I going to do? So here we go. I'm going to take some of this fluffy stuffing, right? I don't think we need much. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. Here we go. All right. Now I purchased these at Walmart. What I'm going to do is we're going to put two buttons on him, two nice little black buttons just with some hot glue. Okay, there we go, hot glue. And we're gonna place that right in the center, right here. And we have another one. 
We'll put her right there. Oh my gosh, this guy is so cute. Now, I'm even going to put this one down a little bit further, and I'll show you why. Just a second. Maybe right there. Okay. Now, we have a little scarf. Let me go on him. Just like that. Okay. But what I want to do is I want to dovetail the ends of my ribbon. This is just ribbon that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. And the sock for this particular project came from Menards. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, just like this and like this. With the election, my feeds on my phone are going off like crazy, guys. I apologize. All right, just like this. Now, I'm going to tack it with a little bit of hot glue. It's going to tack it. You can see that there's a button there. I'm going to cover it up totally. Let's see. Let's go like that. How's that? There we go. That's good. All right. I'm going to tack it over here. Just a little bit of hot glue. Nothing major. Go over here. And you guys, that's the beauty of this. You can just work with this like crazy. There we go. Let's just tack it right there. Love it. And there he is. I think he's absolutely adorable. And we'll be right back with our final reveal. And there he is, guys. I think this little man turned out absolutely adorable with everything I had in my stash. I'd like to thank Krista for hosting this awesome collaboration and Brenda as well. I'll have each of their channel links in my description box below. Check out the playlist, guys. It's going to be amazing. And if you like what you've seen today, go ahead and give me a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell next to your subscription and you'll be notified each time I upload new video. I can also be found on Instagram and Facebook at Glitzy Stitches Home by Shawnee Lee. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like.